Hey, how's it going? Today we're playing a little game called Inscription. Maybe you've heard of it. So anyways, today we're using the Forbidden Starter Deck. Uh, it's made up of the five pieces of Idaxio. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is the old version of the Bone Starter Deck. In earlier versions of the Casey's Mod Beta, this was the Starter Deck in place of the current Bone Deck, which is... Uh, the dire wolf pup, coyote, and raccoon. Um, and it was changed from this. Now, one of the reasons it was changed to that is because the starter decks kind of had a whole theming going on where uh, there was one that was more suited for each tribe. For example, the blood starter deck is for the hooved tribe because it has a black goat and a moose buck, so that's two hooved cards. And then, of course, you had the ant deck for insects, and also the mantis deck for more insects, I guess. I don't know. But this was a starter deck before, and it was changed to have coyote and direwolf pup, so there's two canines. And instead of warren, uh, we got the raccoon. But I think that another reason that this starter deck was removed is because it is kind of busted. Uh, more so than any of the current starter decks. And perhaps for rebalancing or to make sure that one starter deck didn't outshine all the rest, this starter deck was changed. Because if you take a look at it, I mean, Alpha is certainly much better than Coyote, right? Rat King and Direwolf Pup. Direwolf Pup is better, sure. But the most important part, of course, is the Warren, right? It's a much better card than Raccoon, for sure. Uh, but the other thing that's interesting about this starter deck in particular, and this can be said about the new version as well, is that it's the only starter deck to have exactly one card of either one blood cost or no blood cost, right? And so what that means is you have immediate access to the fair hand mechanic. So unlike something like the Black Goat starter deck or the Mantis God starter deck, those are both very powerful starter decks, but they start out with multiple one blood cost cards. So before the fair hand mechanic is going to guarantee that you draw your key card, the Black Goat or Mantis God, you have to get rid of the mole first for the blood deck and the two ringworms first for the Mantis starter deck. But with this deck, it's just Warren, so it's ready to go right out of the gates. And Warren, when compared to something like Black Goat, uh, they're both uh, pretty equally useful when it comes to making an infinite sacrifice engine. Like if we get uh, a cockroach and... I'm sorry, a what roach? What did you just say? And if we transfer its sigil onto the Warren here, then it would be pretty much just as good of an infinite sacrifice engine as the black goat is. Of course, there are some differences, and arguably Warren might be even better, because we can also use the infinite rabbits as blockers. So, yeah, this deck was definitely a step above all of the rest of them, and uh, so to demonstrate it, I'll do a quick run. There's no challenges on, uh, but if you guys want, let me know in the comments, and maybe uh, we can do another... Skullstorm uh, challenge run where I'll use this starter deck and uh, try and beat Skullstorm with it. Little bonus episode from that series. So let's see what the trader has for us today. Hopefully a cockroach. Okay, well, that's a lot of one bloods. Wow, I, this is terrible. I just have to take these two. Get rid of this moose buck. I don't really want it. Alright, we've got our first battle here, and of course we're gonna always draw the Warren because it's our only one blood cost card. That's how Mafia works. Uh, so I can summon the Dire Wolf right away here, no problem, and uh, we should also be able to summon the Alpha as well, so that's just an easy one-shot Leshy dead. Destroyed. Alright, so we do have the clover on, so it's probably better to go this way. Oh, cool, we're gonna get forced to take a pelt. Hey, that's not too bad. It'd be an easy way to potentially get a cockroach. Alright, magpie. Campfire. Sure. It's a health buff. Uh, alpha. Alpha, good. 
No. Alright, next battle. So, again, fair hand mechanic, we're just gonna draw that at Warren right away, like it's nothing. Um, I'm gonna need another squirrel before we can do anything, though. Uh, but otherwise, this combo we've got going on right here is pretty good. Summon the uh, Warren plus another squirrel, and then we can get to Direwolf. So, this is the way that I guess Black Goat is. Uh, you know, a pro for that is that you can summon a 3-blood a bit quicker and easier. But Warren is still immediate access to any 2-bloods. So, yeah, again, one-shotting Leshy there. Although we had to wait a turn. Uh, let's see. I don't know exactly how many bone cards are in the game. Maybe that could work. We'll see. It's only been, like... Two battles. How am I supposed to have any amount of overkill damage? Get out of here. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've recorded uh, actual just like playthrough like this. All right, I'm gonna need to get rid of this pelt quickly, or this could be an issue. Uh, okay, what sigil transfer would I do? Uh, I guess... I guess we could put Magpie on the pelt, and then we don't have to worry about losing out on the fair hand mechanic. Yeah, that seems pretty good, because then we have, again, immediate access to that same combo we've got going on here. Alpha plus Direwolf. We still just need to wait one turn. Also, this Rat King exists. Well, we'll see. If we draw the Rat King instead, maybe not then. Uh, but Fairhand Mechanic is going to give us either the Warren or the Pelt. Gave us the Warren, and this is the exact same hand that we've had for the past, like, three battles in a row. So, thanks for that, Lash. She appreciate it. Alright, uh, we're going to do, what, like, seven damage? That should probably be enough. Uh, so that'll work. And this is also something uh, to mention, is that Alpha used to cost five bone tokens, and I think it still does in Act 1. But in Casey's mod, it just costs four, which makes this a lot easier. But it was also a buff that happened after this starter deck was already a thing. So this starter deck just got even better <laughs> as Casey's mod was getting updates. And then I believe it was the very next update after Alpha got that buff that the starter deck was replaced. So, yeah, uh, a little sus. Oh, we got Cockroach! What, Roach? What did you just say? <laughs> Alright, we got him. Uh, in that case, all I need to do is get to a Sigil Transfer. And the rest of this run should be very easy. Let's buff Direwolf, because why not? Now he one-shots. And, uh, yeah. Wow, Totem. Huh, those are useless. What do, what do we have here? Okay, nine cracked. Why did I say cracked like that? I don't know. Hello, Angler. How are you today? Man, it's been a while since I recorded one of these. The mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. I don't like where this is going. Alright, uh, this is almost the same hand. Well, this is gonna be an easy way to summon our alpha here. Look at this. Look at this damage output I've got already. Three whole damage. Cracked. I'm gonna need to draw that dire wolf, because I don't wanna invite three sharks. Alright, well, there he is. That'll work. Uh, I don't need to summon it yet. This will take care of phase one, and he'll summon sharks, and I'll just avoid them by summoning Direwolf here. Wow, this game is easy, bro. This game is easy. Look at this. Uh, we don't even need the unkillable sigil on Warren. Like I said, this starter deck, insane. At least I think so, right? But let me know in the comments, what do you think? Would this have been the best starter deck if it was still around? Anyways, we get a rare card. What have we got? Strange Larva, Long Elk, question mark, or Amalgam. This is a little sus. Uh, something appears to be among us. Um, you know, Amalgam... 
I'll take the Idrak. I don't care. All right, what do we have here? No sigil transfers. Oh, that's just great. Love that. Card. Nope, don't need that anymore. Dire Wolf Pup? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, Mighty Leap Elks. As though I'm going to be flying over your elks, right? Very true, Lashy. So true. Uh, let's just summon Dire Wolf Pup and uh, let him do the rest, I suppose. Ow. All right, who else do we have here? Uh, oh, that's not bad. I can get my alpha. I have two alphas. Interesting. Uh, well, one of those is Ejerok, and it doesn't matter which one I pick because this is not gonna be that. All right. Yeah, you can't actually search the Ejerok. He'll just duplicate the card instead, which I think I've mentioned before. There's my other dire wolf. Nothing suspicious about that. Uh, still no sigil transfer. Great. Let's go this way. Because Bone Lord will get rid of a card. I am going to pick Canine because that has the least amount of one bloods. Okay, Coyote. Sure, why not? Uh, even if it did give me a one blood, though, we can get rid of it here. There's a sigil transfer. We can finally have our unkillable Warren. Not that we've really needed it up to this point, but, you know. Uh, I could get rid of the pelt here, but because it has this, I don't really need to. Um, plus, we're going to uh, pelt transfer anyways. So, Coyote is pretty useless. It was either that or Rat King, I guess. Might as well keep the Rat King, because he's an OG of the starter deck. Yeah, he, oh, hey, we got them both. Uh, he also has an alpha. Okay, Leshy, I see, I see. You want to fight, huh? Um, what do I want here? I don't care. Well, that was stupid. I can't really summon that, can I? <laughs> Whoops. It's all right, I'll summon it next turn. And then uh, Leshy will just die. Right, that's one, two, three, dire wolf right here, alpha here, I win. Oh, there's another sigil transfer here. Yeah, I'd rather go that way and not get stuck with a pelt, even if it means we have to fight one more battle without it. Because we've been fine this far, so, ooh, that's not bad. Okay, we actually have a totem. Hefty bird. I would drew dire wolf and huh. Does that mean this is Ejerok? Because why else would it screw the fair hand? Is it because I had? Is it because I had bone tokens? Is that why you made me draw alpha? You don't make a lot of sense sometimes, game. That's a bit strange. All right, I'm just gonna assume that's because I... Ah, maybe it was because of Ejerok, actually. I don't know. All right, maybe don't pick Ejerok if you're trying to use fair hand. <laughs> On second thought, uh... So I imagine then... That means the game thinks or treats Ejerok as a no-cost, which it technically is. Okay, good to know. And you can't get rid of Ejerok either. So yeah, if you're trying to use Fairhand, I would really avoid that. <laughs> what do you have for me here? Dire Wolf Pup, Alpha Dire Wolf. I'll take the uh, I'll take the dog. And uh, there it is, Unkillable Warren. Pretty nice. Summon that, and now we just get to do whatever the heck we want. Um, so normally this is it unless you can sacrifice more stuff, which is why two bloods are going to be especially useful for this kind of starter deck. Of course, I drew freaking Wolverine, so, so much for that. But they are unkillable, so I don't really have to worry about anything.
Ow. Okay, direwolf pup, that's cool, except he's gonna die. So, we'll just hold on to that. Rat King, sure, whatever, why not? So now that Warren's back in our hand, when I summon that, we can create another infinite, or er, not an, uh, unkillable rabbit. And, I mean, I just have pretty much everything at this point. Rabbit. 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 Rat. A rabbit. Alright, I have all of the pelts now. Oh, Warren didn't attack. Oh, no, Warren did attack. He just didn't do any damage. Thanks for attacking anyways, though, Warren. I appreciate the the effort. Uh, what do I have here? Direwolf pup. Well, I don't remember having this many direwolf pups. Uh, so, here's a... Trick. This is not the Ejirak. It's gonna be one of these two. I don't know which one, but yeah, it's definitely not the last one you draw because Ejirak had to have already copied it. You know what I mean? So that means either this is Ejirak or this is Ejirak. Uh, so let's, uh, you know, let's find out. Is it this one? Oh, it sure is. Wow. We've solved the mystery, gang. Good work. You've all earned yourself a Scooby Snack. On me. Scooby Snacks are on me tonight, boys. Let's summon the actual real direwolf pups. I think we have enough rabbits. Also, I think it is raining. Uh... Oh yeah, it's raining, all right. <laughs> this, this is also a great way to generate a lot of bone tokens, by the way. It's not inherently an infinite bone combo, because you'd need another unkillable one blood. But that's a lot of bone tokens. That's not too bad. All right, get him. Oh, less she's in trouble now. All right, phase two. You can probably hear my fan before you can hear the rain. Oh, oh, it just got louder. Maybe you can hear the rain. Tell me, tell me in the comments if you can hear the rain. I think I have enough pelts to uh, just jack all your stuff, buddy. I'll even take your favorite card, the Raven. You're not allowed to have that on my watch. Wow, isn't this Wolverine so useful, bro? It made great use of its sigil there. All right, uh, go away now, Leshy. Or tr whatever you are, whoever you are, traitor. Just more proof that the fair hand mechanic is cracked. And every bad one blood or no cost card is garbage. Oh, wow, look at these options. Ouroboros, we could probably, yeah, we could go infinite with that. We'll go for Ouroboros. I gotta kill this leshy guy again. Give me my warren, thank you. So, yeah, just, we have this, this should be a one-shot, because we have this, uh, two blood, so I can sacrifice these. They both go back to my hand. I can summon this rabbit and use that to make another rabbit. And then I can, uh, summon the dire wolf on top of that. And we get to do a lot of damage. Easy one shot, one turn kill, OTK, FTK, first turn kill, combo, insane, Ex another cave trial, wow. Hello sir, what do we have here today, kin, health, sigil, that's an easy one, I know this one. Wow, we did it, oh my goodness, against all odds, what do we have here? Oh, another rat king, that's a little goofy. Uh, whoa, okay, pronghorn, all right, okay, or we have <laughs> kingfisher. Uh, so pronghorn looks the best here, I'll take that. All right, well, I wonder, what should I do here? Should I fight Leshy, 
Or should I fight Leshy, but also he has a totem? Hmm. Very difficult choice. I think we'll do this one. Bring it on, Leshy. Oh, spiky elks? You know, that checks out. Their antlers do look kind of spiky. I almost said spicy. <laughs> Those antlers are spicy. Why the heck... Is there a boulder on my field? I did not ask for this. And, uh... I would like to return it, please. To its rightful owner. Uh... Well, I can't... Because of that boulder, I can't also summon this dire wolf unless I get rid of this dire wolf pup, so... We'll just do that. It's a one-shot anyways. I win. Uh, L, Leshy. L is for Leshy. Leshy starts with L for a reason. Uh, well, this hand is not the best. Let's get something good. Let's get... Oh, Ouroboros. Yeah, that could be pretty good. Yeah, that might be an infinite combo there. Why not? So, well, this is going to make a lot of rabbits in our hand, which is kind of the problem. It makes it a little slower because I have to wait for the rabbit to spawn. But, uh... Yeah, this'll, this'll do it. I can have Ouroboros get as many attack points as I want to. I think we'll stop at, like, five, because I don't feel like being here all day. Okay, Oro's got five attack. We'll let that deal with uh, Leshy here. Phase one complete. Uh, I'm cracked. OTK. I've been OTKing Leshy in most battles this run, so... Again, this isn't, like... A super true test because it's not Skullstorm, but we could do that on a live stream later, perhaps. Uh, so let's summon Ouroboros again, and uh, Leshy hitting it with the pickaxe just made it stronger, so thanks for that. And then I'll also summon Alpha for the heck of it. I am recording, right? Yes, okay, good. <laughs> It's been 35 minutes into this recording, and I, it just dawned on me. Maybe I should make sure. Uh, I guess we'll take Amalgam. Whoa. What the heck is going on with Idrak up there? He's transforming right before our very eyes. Um, we could do a Sigil Transfer, that's fine. I could get rid of... Direwolf, put that on Amalgam. Basically the same thing, whatever. Uh, hurry up, Leshy. Leshy, come on, man. I don't have all day, Leshy. Hurry it up. Let's hurry this along. Yo, Ouroboros? That's a pretty good card. Uh, Adder? Sure, why not? Oh no, that was Ejirak. Uh oh. Well, that's gonna be a rest in peace to Ejirak then, because this pickaxe is. Well, actually, no, I can prevent it. All I need to do is summon Ouroboros here. Uh, so that's fine, actually. Everything's fine. Ejirak will survive, and then it just solos the moon, because he can't attack it, so that'll work. Oh, we can also see the. Alpha Easter Egg, if you don't know about this, give it a second. Just a moment, please. Just gotta wait for Leshy to uh, summon the moon. Alright, that's great, Leshy, thanks. There he is, look at that. Omega. Wow. Okay. This dam is kind of useless, but whatever. Uh, I could summon Pronghorn, maybe that'll give us, uh, Magical Bleach, and then I can... Well, that's not a Magical Bleach, but if it was, I could finish the moon off with the Adder. If only. Oh yeah, that would have saved so much time, wouldn't it? Um, okay. Oh yeah, that's pretty strong. Uh, I guess this is it, Leshy. You failed. Again. Trash. So yeah, pretty good starter deck. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, bye.